AT&T Dynamic Exchange makes it easy to connect with your cloud services provider. Connecting to the cloud the old-fashioned way through a data center is a time-consuming, complicated process. Now you can use your existing AT&T circuits to quickly connect with your cloud services provider. In this video, we'll show AT&T Switched Ethernet On Demand customers how to order and set up an AT&T Dynamic Exchange, or ADX, connection for cloud services. Start by accessing the ADX Marketplace. There are several ways to do that. We'll select Manage, AT&T Dynamic Exchange, and go to the ADX Marketplace. Select Browse Cloud Providers, and you'll see the cloud services providers. In this example, we'll use Amazon Web Services, or AWS. The connection process is similar for each provider. Select View Details. You'll create a virtual private network, or VPN, which acts as a hub for your connection. A VPN can support one or many cloud service provider connections. If you'd like, you can create multiple VPNs. Select Create, and choose the closest service location. Now, select Continue. You'll see a brief overview of the connection process. Step 1. Get your service key. Step 2. Create your ADX connection. And Step 3. Go to the AWS Management Console and accept the ADX connection. Let's walk through these steps. Select Enter Key or ID. For AWS, the account ID is the service key, so enter the account ID. If you need help finding it, just read these instructions. Next, choose how to configure the ADX connection. You can connect your VPN to a single circuit or to an entire Ethernet virtual connection, also called an EVC. We'll connect to an entire EVC. Select Continue. And you'll see a list of available EVCs. Choose the EVC to connect to your VPN. To make sure this is the one you want, you can view all circuits for this EVC. Enter a VPN name. Now enter a connection name for the link from the VPN to the cloud service provider. Select Continue. Next, choose a place of primary use. The AT&T Dynamic Exchange circuit you choose will appear on the bill as a monthly AT&T Dynamic Exchange connectivity link fee. Then, configure the connection from your network to the new VPN. Give the connection a unique virtual LAN ID, or VLAN ID. Enter a bandwidth, and check that the class of service default is correct. Next, expand the VLAN section, and enter the Wide Area Network, or WAN, IP addresses for the customer and provider edge routers. Select Continue. Now, let's complete the configuration from the VPN to the cloud. Select a bandwidth, and expand the VLAN section. Choose the IP version your equipment supports and enter the lowest IP address for the AT&T router IP address. The second address appears automatically. Enter the autonomous system number for WAN routing and expand bi-directional forwarding detection information. You can change your bi-directional forwarding detection info if you'd like. Expand the MD5 authentication section and enter your IPv4 password. If you chose dual stack for your IP version, enter your IPv6 password too. Choose Review Order and review your order summary. To check your selections, expand each section. And review your charges. Then read and accept the terms and conditions and submit your order. You're almost done, but you still need to access your Cloud Services Management Console and accept the connection. We even give you the link to get there. If you chose AWS Cloud Services and Dual Stack, you'll need to access the AWS portal to get the AWS assigned IPv6 address and enter it in Business Center. To enter the IPv6 address in Business Center, choose AT&T Dynamic Exchange from the Manage tab and view all ADX connections. Just expand your connection, choose VPN to CSP configuration if it's not already selected, and edit IP addresses. Remember, this step is only necessary if you use dual stack to connect with AWS Cloud Services. If you're using Azure Cloud Services, this step isn't needed. It's also unnecessary if you chose IPv4 for your AWS Cloud connection. And that's it. 15 minutes after accepting your cloud service connection, you're ready to go.
It's that easy to order and set up a cloud services connection. Want to learn more? Check the Business Center help pages for more videos and step-by-step -step help.